I know y'all want to learn how to make custom graphics, but I don't think I'll be able to make that because GH Fear already made a video on it and all the all the download links are in his description. So I'm gonna just link his video in the description below and just show you guys how to make a custom skater you know using the skate modding tool so i'm gonna show you how to get it and everything so it's pretty simple you know all you need to do is join the modding discord in the description below you can join my discord too you know what i'm saying it's in you know it's in the description below and you can also get community saves, you know, shit like this, you know. I just made this uh, the other day. And then there's another guy, uh, shout out OVH. He is another up and coming graphics creator. See, um, I don't know if I can show that. If you guys want some, you can download them in the community saves. And then... Here's my downloads, you know, all my saves that I made. So, today's request we're going to do today is Sambo. This shirt, but red, with a red board, with solid red grip tape. Basically, just everything red. No hat, no glasses, and some red jeans and red shoes. Okay? I bet. Once you get... Your uh, your Skate 3 and your RPCS3 downloaded. And you got all the updates, the DLCs. They're all in the Skate Modding server. You go to the Releases and then the Downloads tab. And you want to click on this link right here. Now, it looks overwhelming, I know. But you only need a few things out of here. Which is like Skate 3. One of the Skate 3's you want. Either this one or this one. And then you want to get the update for Skate 3. And then you want to get RPCS 3. And then the latest firmware. Either one of these links. I use this link because it's like a straight download. And then all you need from the mod tools area is... The Skate 3 RPCS3 Save Editor tool. And the password for it is right here. S3SE. And you get it from here. Once you get all the like RPCS3 and like Skate 3 updates and all that stuff. Um, another thing you need is the DLCs right here. And so once you have all that. You can go ahead and get the mod tool. And you want to click on the RPCS3 version. And then you want to click on this right here. And now this is a straight download. You don't have to do any ads or anything. You can just easily just download this. So once you get that, you're going to have to extract it to a folder or your desktop and it's going to ask you for the password and the password is on this page right here right here so once you get that now you're ready to start modding your characters so you want to open up skate 3 now you want to open up the save editor tool. You want to click on this right here. It says application. You want to launch the save editor. Yeah, it's going to give you an error. I don't know why, but it doesn't really matter. Right now, I have the opium skater. The opium save. But today, I'm going to be making that request from earlier. You wanted the red grid tape, red board. Okay, you want some random pants, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna make him some baggy pants. I like the baggy pants. I'm gonna get him some custom red supers. Yeah, and the board. 
how to use this is pretty simple if you don't know how it works don't recommend using it okay so all these pretty much this is easy to use like you can like put like 12 in there and it'll be like really freaking fat but then uh let me see extras this is pretty easy you just type in the name and then set the name and then unlock all motorized difficulty you can hold uh i think r1 and it'll just like accelerate without having to push and then you can set amount of board sales you can set it to like three billion if you want it and then the graphics this is where like i'm like i don't know how to use it this is how you can make your graphics even bigger than it can regularly go you know so if i put like a, a custom graphics on there and then the x and y will show up like get current and then i put in a random number for the x and y scale like to the left or the right or up and down and then the scale is like how big you want it to be so like it could be like really freaking big but yeah I'm not going to be messing with that because like I don't really know how to use it AI skater this shit I don't know how to how to do it <laughs> I don't know how to do this yeah I don't know but yeah today we're going to be using the RGB replacer in the clothing tab we want to make this shirt red so we're gonna lock the shirt and we're gonna make the pants red so we're gonna lock the pants we're gonna have to make the shoes red so I replaced the socks with the current shoes and then we're gonna start off with the shoes because that's like pretty much the easiest part so you want to click on socks and I'm gonna make them red so I will put like three in red and then boom set RGB that's all I need to do and then hit replace now in order for the color to show up on the shoes you have to exit the menu but I'm gonna do that after I edit everything else so basically he wants everything all red in order to get the color to show up when you exit you got to make sure you're not wearing any socks any socks make sure them feet are stinking in them shoes you know what i'm saying straight toe jam but yeah make sure no socks are on right now now on to the pants the pants is a little tricky mechanism so you got to change back to the customizable pants after locking the pants so move the cursor around and you can see that the pants change back to the baggy pants and you can make them any color you want well from this wheel right now i'm gonna choose the red ones because he wanted them red right 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 but you can do even more with these pants so i'm gonna change the topic to the pants and he wanted it red so i'm gonna set the rgb and then i'm not going to change the pants again what i'm going to do in order for the color to show up is Put something else on, like some glasses. But don't put them on because he doesn't want them on. Just make the animation pop up. And then you can just back out. And the pants are red now. Pretty fire. Pretty fire. Now, he wants the shirt red. Same thing with the shirt. Make sure it's locked on the shirt that you want. Then you have to go into either any shirt, any customizable shirt. And then all you have to do is move the cursor. 
And he wants it red. So I, I'm choosing red. And then I'm changing the topic in the clothing's tab. I'm changing the topic to the shirt. And I'm setting the RGB to red. And now I'm going to go to a hat because he doesn't want a hat on. So I'm going to just switch it out and then back out. Now the shirt is really red. Wow, that looks that looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. This is looking pretty cool. The shoes are already red. Well, it's not showing up red right now, but when I exit, it's going to be red. So the whole fit right now is red. Now, he wants the board a solid red. This is going to be a little bit of a challenge because I never made like a really like crazy solid red board before without it being like a super glowy board i already used the socks to replace with the shoes i can't use them to replace with the board so i'm gonna use the hat since the game doesn't see the hat right now now we got to replace it with the current board so replace the hat with the board before we replace we're going to change the color of the hat to red but this red is going to be a more like dominant red like dominant meaning like you're gonna to have to make this number like really high probably so I'm gonna try nine and all we have to do is hit replace and make sure before you hit replace you're choosing the black deck hit replace it even tells you right here please select the black custom board and exit edit skater because it won't, it won't show up right now. Before I do anything with the invisibility, I'm going to test out the board and see if it's like a good enough red. I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty good. All right, so I've pretty much figured out how to use the invisibility. You can't change them all at once and then like switch one thing and then they're all disappearing, like your arms and your head and the trucks and wheels. So you have to do them all like, one at a time. So I'm gonna set the head. I'm gonna go to accessories, glasses, set the head, boom. Okay. Then I'm gonna set the arms. Boom. Okay, okay. There we go. And then I'm gonna set the trucks. Boom. Can't see it right now, but it should work and then the wheels and then boom and set that so back out and yeah there we go that's how to get invisible parts invisible body parts trucks and wheels and then just exit so yeah guys if you like the video give a like comment subscribe you know what I'm saying? I'm going to I'm gonna try to hit like a little line with this. You know what I'm saying? Try to do a little, little, little trick line. Okay, okay, boom, boom, okay. Oh, okay, oh, okay, 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 go crazy. Go crazy. Go, go stupid. Go dummy. Ah! This is fire. This is a fire skater. I fought with the skater. Yeah, man. If you want this save, links in the description. Links for everything is in the description. So, from the discords to the downloads and everything. Yeah, so, yeah, everything's in the description. So, yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe. And, yeah, until next time, it's Drew the King. You already know, I, I, gang, gang. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.